Okay, we got the engine on the mill here, and the problem I was running into was, first I was thinking about taking, center cutting 3 8 4 flute end mill, right about there, beautiful, plenty of clearance. Problem is, that's nowhere near the deck, which is down here, so if I need to get there, I'm only getting about halfway there, so scratch that idea. So, option number two, get the drill. So, Jacob's chuck and my 3 8 drill should be up in the quill. That puts me with the knee all the way down and the quill all the way up. And it puts me nowhere close to being able to retract the drill and clear it. So, I decided to combine the two efforts and we'll take our 3 8 drill and put it in our 3 8 collet and that gets me just about where I need to be. So chuck it up and set the stops and we'll mill a couple of these broken studs out after we locate everything. Okay. Got my 3 8 drill and my 3 8 collet and set my stop. Boom, right there. So now I know damn well that I'm not going to drill into the deck of this thing and I'll be able to use an easy out and extract the remnants of those busted studs after I get the head off. So let's locate and start drilling. All right. We're located, got the Gibbs locked down, we're going to nail this back one here. Now I'm in back gear on this mill so I can go real slow, and that's why. If it bites in, it ain't going to tear anything up, so we'll just do that and we'll back it off, and we'll go from there. That would have snapped that if that was a handheld drill. So let's tighten up the collet again and try that a little Try that again. All right, trying this again. We're using high speed now instead of in back gear, and that seems to do a little bit better. That's to be expected here. But we're just creeping up on it and it's making short work of that stud. And we'll just keep on going until we hit our stop. And that'll be adios to this painting mass. Good chip formation. It's a good sign. It means my drill is nice and sharp. It also means I'm not into cast iron. See, cast iron forms short little curly chips, not these big long ones. So that tells me that's steel. And that's where I want to be. Just about there. Maybe another three sixteenths of an inch. Problem solved. 